really happy to be sitting here over Zoom with a gentleman by the name of Alan Gross. I met Alan, I don't know, probably seven or eight years ago. And we were both using another marketing company, which we loved and used for years. Um, and I am a realtor. Alan is a retired loan officer. But uh, Alan, I just wanted, uh, if we could start out by you kind of introducing yourself. I know you're in Maryland. You can tell us what part of Maryland and how long you were a loan officer and just get a little bit of your history. Then we'll get into how they can use Banner Season. Okay. Well, I, I live in uh, Rockville, Maryland, which is outside Washington, D.C. I've been a native around here since I was born more years ago than I want to admit. I was a loan officer for over 30 years. And actually, before I got into using systems like this, way back in the 80s, I, in 88, actually, I started with a, a spreadsheet because I realized the importance of keeping in touch with your, your clients. I mean, back then, loan officers went around to real estate offices and they handed out rate sheets and you looked for somebody to hope refer you a piece of business. You probably remember that. Oh, yeah. And, and so I started, I started a spreadsheet and every, every transaction I did went on that spreadsheet and I started using that as a mailing list. So I started doing a lot of repeat business before a lot of people did because at least I had a system in place. Later on, we got into systems like we used the previous marketing system and I started using that. It's very effective. I mean, you know, people, people will come and do business with you because they know you and they like you and, and, you know, but the important thing is they trust you too. But the, the important thing about this is, is they need to remember you. And to me in both the real estate world and in the, in the mortgage world, people seem to be so transactional oriented. It's where does the next deal come from? What do I do for the next thing? And they forget about the people they've done business with. I know when I talk to real estate agents and I talk to other mortgage people, they couldn't tell you who they did business with six months ago, or more or less two years ago. Yep. It's important to have a system to stay in touch with these people. I did a lot of repeat business over my career. As a fact, after I retired, I still got phone calls well over a year after I retired. I hadn't been sending anything out, but I'd sent enough stuff out that people still called me. And you know, you mentioned uh, how people do business with people that they like and they know and that they remember. And almost all realtors and all loan officers are doing business the same way. You know, just like you said, transactional. Mm -hmm. And they get done with that client and they forget about that client and they move on to the next client. Yep. And, and the products that we're using, the company is called Banner Season. And uh, I've been using it for about 13 months. I think you've been using it about the same. Just kind of share if, if how, how you can see well, two ways, how you would recommend a loan officer use banner season to increase your business. And then also if you want to share how you use it in your personal life. Okay. Well, first off, as a loan officer, and even as a real estate agent, the way you want to use the system to me is very similar. First off, you want to thank people when they get in touch with you. Uh, so many people wait until the very end of the transaction to be done. And then they'll think about sending some sort of thank you out. If, well, if they, they send work, one at all, right? If, exactly. As yeah. I said, if they send one at yeah. all. But what you really want to do is, is you want to start the relationship on a positive note. So when I was a loan officer, as soon as somebody called me up, I sent a thank you card to them, thanking them for talking to me. And also, when it was a referral from a real estate agent, I sent a thank you to the real estate agent. In fact, if it was a transaction, I sent a thank you to both real estate agents, both the listing agent and the selling agent. I wanted them to know who I was, how to get in touch with me, and I appreciated their business. And, and I think with a real estate agent, it's the same thing. You need, the, you need to touch your people. Exactly. You're competing. Yep. And, and I, think, I think it's an important thing to do. I mean, one of my favorite sayings, and I, I used to have a presentation. This, I opened my presentation with this. I've learned what people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Exactly. And that was my Angelou. And, and I, it just, it is so true. And it's, it's, not, it's true in all parts of life. You, you asked about personal. It's, it's true in your personal part of life. You know, we get so involved sometimes in business that we forget our friends and our family. Yep. And it's important to stay in touch with them. And I will tell you, I send a lot of cards to friends and family. And do, you have, do you have any examples that you can share with us? On the, uh, the cards? 
cards or products, whatever you have. Well, I can, I can show you a couple of things. Um, we do a, there's a, there's a metal plate. And if you look here, you see the metal plate. This is a picture of my daughter that I took when she was riding and jumping. And, and I send her all kinds of stuff personalized. I, I do a lot. One of my hobbies since I've retired is photography. So I take a lot of pictures. And I do a lot of pictures with my daughter jumping. And I send her a lot of things with that. You may, you may recognize this, Jim. Yeah. yeah this, exactly. is, this, is, this is a mug that you sent to me. Yes, exactly. And yeah. you, you can see it's got my daughter on there. And it's got friends on there when we went to dinner. And in fact, you sent me two mugs. This is another picture of my daughter jumping that I had taken. So well, yeah, you, I take, do, you I, take such phenomenal photos, Alan. I'm always seeing photos, and they're always of some horse farm or some competition where horses are jumping. And I love horses, and your photos are gorgeous. So I knew I wanted to send you something. So I figured if I sent you – now, you know, what a lot of realtors would do if they were sending a loan officer and they wanted to establish a relationship with the loan officer, they'd send them a coffee mug, but they would put – there, that, that realtor, you know, who's sending it, he put his own logo on the mug. Now, if I send you a coffee mug with my logo on it, you're not going to, you're not going to keep that. You might, you, you might throw it away. You might put it in the closet, but you're, but if I send you a coffee mug with photos that you took of your daughter, I know you're going to keep them. Absolutely. Uh, as a matter of fact, I had a, I had someone uh, that had been a client of mine years ago and, and he likes to use the big card for different things. And he called me up last week and he said, Alan, I want to use the big card. I've forgotten how to do these things. So I got him started with Banner Season and I sent him a coffee mug. He hasn't got it yet. It's supposed to be there today sometime. But the coffee mug is pictures of he and his wife and his granddaughters. That's what I sent on the coffee mug. Nothing about business because that he's going to want, that's a mug he's going to want to have. Well, you mentioned the big card, and I don't know if you have any there, but but I actually do. You know, the with the big card, and if you have some, please show them too. But yeah. you know, this is the way that I use our big yeah. card at Banner Season, because this is not the card; this is the envelope. So if that's a for sale by owner or an expired listing, and they come home and they get two to ten pieces of mail, and they get a big piece like this, there's a postage, the address, return address. If that's their house you can bet they're going to open this piece of mail, you know? That's, and that's true because I, you know, I, this is a card that I used, I'll block myself out. This is a card that I used when I was still in the mortgage business. This is a client right after they bought the house. That's on the cover of the card. Ah, that's on the envelope. I mean, yeah, on the envelope. Yes. And then this was the cover of the card. It was a thank you for doing business. <laughs> and then I had some other stuff in here, but this was a big card. Yes. And I also oh. sent them some gifts and stuff. Hold that envelope up again, Alan, because I think a lot of people are missing that. I mean, that's the envelope. So mm -hmm. imagine that couple come home. They bought that house. You know that's going to be the first envelope they open. That's so much, so much better than your company, loan officer company mm -hmm. or my real estate company envelope. It's, it's so powerful. These people did refer business to me, other friends. Of course, because they remember you. You know, mm -hmm. you, you also mentioned earlier – most people five or 10 years later when they're ready to move again, they can't even remember who their loan officer was. Oh no. Who the realtor was. But if they're getting stuff like this, you know, from, from us, they're, they're going to, they're going to, they remember us. It's that simple. I'll tell you one of the things that I really liked that came out relatively recently was the, the using, being able to use the regular card and have the envelope. Yes. This, this was my holiday card. Yes. That's phenomenal. And I received one of those from you. I'm glad you brought one because I didn't bring a sample with me. Of yeah, the, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, but it, it, it's, it's got a, it, it's got a picture of, of a nice winter scene on there. It's got seasons greetings. This is something people are going to remember and they're going to open. And then on the card itself, I'm a horse person. So I, I had a horse picture on there. And that was my, that was the cover of the card with a greeting. And then I had a little New Year's greeting because yep. for 2020. And then I had a Christmas message. And I, had a, I like to personalize my cards. I want people to see me as a human being. That's a picture of me and my daughter taken many years ago. We walked across the Bay Bridge. Wow. And then I, I, the back of the card, that's a picture of my daughter and I. We were up in Maine a couple years ago and she was riding an endurance ride. But when I send a card out, and, and, and for Christmas, I've always sent my holidays cards to be more personal than business. I mean, 
you you get the cards you see the cards you get a card it's from the it's from the company it's from the group it's i got a car, christmas card for somebody that it was from his group and he scratched out the name put his name in there so i knew it was from i mean it, it doesn't mean anything exactly it doesn't mean anything and you know what what we didn't tell him yet alan is you know you you shared a couple cards and products and i have too and we don't print these cards out you know we just design these either on our cell phone or on our tablet or on our laptop or on our desktop we design the panels of the cards and design mm -hmm. the gifts and hit send and banner sees and prints these products out and sends yes. them out it's phenomenal yeah, i didn't mean to interrupt you but i didn't want people to think that they had to print these out and have some kind of high quality printer because we oh no it's you don't do anything that's the beauty okay. of it yeah you do, it, you do it from your computer your cell phone your tablet whatever you want to do it for just just i'm i still i am i'm still sending birthday cards to a lot of people this one happened to go to a friend of mine who works in a mortgage company up in the pittsburgh area and i sent him the card and it was returned by the post office for a wrong address i called him up and i, I gave him the addresses that's my address when well, the post office didn't deliver the card to him had the right address on it figure that out but this is this is the birthday card i'm using this year you can see it's personalized that's awesome it's easy and i yep. just i just have a little template in in powerpoint i just put the name in there and upload it the rest of the card is stock this is the second page of my birthday card this is the third page of my birthday card and if you notice my signature is on there yep. it's easy to do it's something i do for everybody who wants to do, do something with me because it's just an easy thing i do you can put a transparent signature in there and it looks like you've signed the card personally yeah it's really it's it's phenomenal I'm going to share uh, one that I did uh, just about a month ago. A gentleman called me up and he wanted to interview me about my real estate coaching business. He is a real estate coach himself. And so we talked one time over the phone, just one time. And he set up a time that we could get on Zoom like this and do the interview. And I researched him and I found out that, you know, in, in Keller Williams, he's pretty high up. He's actually one of the 84 agents who has made over a million dollars in profit share. And this guy's going to interview me. So I wanted to impress him. You know, we never met. We had one phone conversation. So I sent him this card with his photo. He also has a coaching business with the logo of his coaching business. Message from me on the inside. My uh, book on the back. But he got this card in a box with this coffee mug photo of Rob. He, as part owner in a couple of Keller Williams offices, so I put the Keller Williams logo there. He's a Keller Williams agent. The card with that, he got four coffee coasters, and you can design each coaster individually. So I put Keller Williams logo on that one, his coaching business logo on this one, his family on this one, and his daughter shoots uh, rifles at University of Kentucky, the state that I live in. And so I just got these photos from his Facebook page. And uh, he actually got a couple more things. He got four brownies like this, like uh, thank you brownies that he could send. Thanks for doing business with the Rob Tucker team. And I also sent him four brownies like this with his coaching business. So we got all these things, including golf balls, you know, golf balls. He got all these things in one box before we ever met. And on the golf balls, I put the logo of his coaching business so you know he, he and i i didn't ask him to do this but i guess he opened the package and he put it all back in and he got on facebook and did a facebook live and said look at this package i got from a guy named jim mccord who he never met now you know imagine using that for somebody that you want to meet in business somebody that does a lot of business like a loan officer the loan officer wanted to meet a high-end realtor spend 60 or 70 bucks and send them a package with a bunch of gifts, but don't put your logo on here. Make sure you put their logo and their family, you know, not anything about you, which is what most realtors would do. So, I mean, I've been a realtor for 26 years and by far and away, Banner Season's the best marketing I've ever done. That's no question. It's so easy to do and it's, it's such quality material. I sent coasters to a friend of mine from high school who happens to teach at a large real estate company and manages an office. And I, I sent him the coasters and I got, got him, talked to him a little later on, had lunch with him. And I said, did you like the coasters? He says, yeah. I said, are you using them? He said, no. 
I said, why? He says, because my wife says they're too nice to use. <laughs> well, I tell you what, and this is the truth. These things are indestructible. I tell you, you know, I do it a lot for business, but I have five grandchildren. And when we all get together, I take pictures of the grandkids. And uh, this year, each one of my grandkids got eight of these, eight different coasters with photos of the grandkids playing with each other. And they use them like toys. You know, yeah. the, their parents use them as coasters when company comes. But the kids love having pictures of them and their cousins, you know, on these coasters. And they are pretty much indestructible. I mean, <laughs> I love the coasters. I think a lot of people think they're hokey, but they're not. You send these coasters like this to somebody's office and put their family on it. When they get these coasters in their office, they're going to keep these sitting on their desk because it has well, their family. You certainly are. And, I, and I'm a coaster fan. Again, most of these are pictures I took. This is a picture I took of my daughter jumping. This is another picture I took of my daughter jumping. Spectacular. I didn't take this picture. This is a picture of my daughter and her husband on a ride, but I pulled it off of Facebook. Wow. And then for the fourth coaster, it's another picture I took of my daughter riding. Wow. They're great coasters. Yeah. I mean, you know, don't you love having those around your house when company comes over? Mm -hmm. And e equally, wouldn't she and her husband love having, I'm sure they love having coasters like that with photos. They of have them. coasters at their house. <laughs> and they're, they, they, do. they stay on their dining room table. Yeah. I sent them coasters. Valentine's Day is coming up. Last year, I sent them coasters for Valentine's Day. It was, it was all hearts and love stuff for them for Valentine's Day. And they, they're always on the dining room table when yeah. I go up. Yeah, it's phenomenal. There's water bottles, you know, there's, there's all kind of treats and you can personalize almost every gift that we have. You mentioned birthdays. Uh, I was on the, I was on a zoom call this morning with a real estate agent up in Brooklyn, New York, and he does the great majority of his business by referral. Unlike me, I wish I had gotten into that. You know, I had to work for every deal. He refers business out and gets a tip. That's the majority of his business. So I couldn't believe it. I asked him uh, this morning on our call. He sends 3,000 birthday cards out a year. Wow. Th throughout the whole year because he's getting referrals and giving referrals from real estate agents all over the country. So his clients, unlike mine, his clients – as a real estate agent, his clients are other real estate agents that he stays in touch with and sends birthday cards. And with Banner Season, you can set up an automatic, you can put a birthday camp, set a birthday campaign up and input that person's, when you input that contact into your system, put their birthday and click to send them the birthday campaign. And you, that's it. You don't need to remember every year, 10 days for their birthday, the company will print that card out and send it to that, that customer. I was sending well over a thousand birthday cards a year when I was active. You know, and that's something I didn't do. I'm starting to do it more now, but I'm not an active real estate agent, but I do send birthday cards. But yeah, thousands is a lot. I'm sure I never sent a thousand out, but uh, this guy sends 3,000 out and he's just amazed at how easy it is to do it. I still send a lot of cards, birthday cards to people. It's not for business all the time, but it's, it's for other things. And I, and I will tell you, Jim, there's two ways to do birthday cards. There's the automated campaign. As I showed you earlier, I like to personalize my cards. So the cover of the card, in this case, said happy birthday, James. But I, what I love about Banner Season is you can store your birthday cards in there. And you can store, in fact, you can store all your cards in there. All the products you create are stored. And you can, you can put a name on them so you can go find them by the name. I love doing that, but I just, I just go birthday and I, I have the cards already done. All I have to do is create the cover. And I upload the cover and then I send the personalized card. It's easy to do. It's quick. It doesn't take me long at all. Exactly. That's just, that's just something I do. Now, now, as far as keeping track of birthdays, I've been doing this for years. And I actually have all of my birthdays on a uh, Yahoo calendar. Every, all, in fact, everything I do is on a Yahoo calendar. So I just go look to my Yahoo calendar and I say, well, who do I have to do this week? And my birthday cards, that's, why, that, that's how they're customized. Because I have the template and I just, I just put in the name on the template and I just, that changes one page of the card and off it goes. Well, Alan is in this like I am as a little side business. So uh, if you are interested in using Banner Season, you do need to have an invitation code. What, what is your invitation code, Alan? 
It's Market Now. M A R K E T N O W. No space, just market no spaces, now. Just market now. So you go to bannerseason.com and use the invitation code market now. And if they want to get in touch with you, Alan, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Facebook, LinkedIn, email, phone number? What's, what's uh, best? Well, my email is left over from my mortgage career. It's home mortgage advisor at gmail.com. I've kept it because I've used it for so many years. I have so many stuff going in and out. I just don't want to lose, lose the people who can touch me there. And if someone wants to call me, they can give me a call. It's 240-813-0614. Again, that's 240-813-0614. That's my Google line. If you don't catch me, it's going to send me an email. I know right away. Well, I appreciate you taking time to, to talk with me. And I, you know, you and I, every time I have some uh, in-laws that live in Maryland. So whenever I come to Maryland, I always let Alan know we always get together for lunch or coffee. And we, we both have talked, so I know the answer to this question already. But I've been doing this for 26 years. I've been with six different real estate companies. I'm with Keller Williams now. And I've been with Remax, I've been with Coldwell Banker and three local and regional companies, six companies. Not one of them has anything that can touch this marketing. I always say this is the best marketing I've done in my real estate career. And uh, so I'm going to ask you that. Do you know any better way to market yourself as a loan officer? No, I can't think of any way because this way you, you're, you're touching people on a personal basis. Exactly. It, and, and when you start sending cards that have people of their picture of their house on it or pictures of their kids or pictures of their dogs or whatever you want to send. It's going to be done. I sent cards. I've had people, the cards I've sent over the years who actually took the card and framed them and hung them on the wall. They told yep. me that I because it was a personal card. I mean, it, and, and sending, sending a card, sending a gift, it's not just about business. And that's, I think it's important to understand. It's not just about trying to get business. It's about making people feel good and establishing a good relationship with people. Exactly. I mean, if, if you think about it, the, the statistic is, I, I believe they say that the cost of requiring a new client is five to 10 times more than the cost of ha working with an existing client, either as a repeat client or for a referral. I mean, where do you spend your, want to spend your money? Do you want to spend your money in all these expensive marketing programs you get solicited for every week? Yep. I, I was talking with somebody, in fact, it was the guy, who I sent this birthday card to because I called him and wanted to see if he moved. He got into some program where they're charging, actually he talked to me, they're charging $3,000 a month. You have to sign a year contract, $3,000 a month. And they were said, you're going to get 10 or 12 leads. He said, people have been in four months, no leads. Yeah, can you imagine? So $12,000, <laughs> no leads. There are, and I, you know, years past, I've done some of that in my real estate career. We're, we're getting hit up as loan officers are with all kind of marketing gimmicks like that. And imagine, you know, we've just shown you guys a couple of the products. There's all kind of products, but I'd love it when I get a new client or a new prospect who was a golfer. And if he owned a company, especially to send him golf balls with his logo on it. I mean, where else can you do that? These people are blown away when they get these gifts. So anyway, uh, bannerseason.com you need an invitation code allen's is market now no space in between and if you have any questions feel free to give them a call thanks so much for your well, time can Go i make ahead. one or two but sure. quick comments before we before yeah, absolutely we first off and i i heard this from another number of people over the years this is not my thought i steal a lot of things from other people but it really, when you talk about marketing and you talk about the cost of doing something, so many people say, what does it cost? Well, sometimes you got to think about, it's not the cost of sending a card or a gift. It's not expensive. It's what you lose because you didn't send the card or the gift. It's the cost of not doing something. I mean, if there, people don't think about that. It's the cost of not doing something. And you'll spend, you'll spend $1,000 or $500 or $300 to try something to get new people but you won't spend $50 or $25 or even $10 on those people who have already done business with you yes. and have the possibility to do it again. Uh, I just, I just think the other thing I think that's important is, is we're in a business where people are getting bombarded all the time about wanting to do business with you. Your clients are getting bombarded by people who want to take them away from you. So if you're not doing something for those people, so they know you 
and they remember you, your competition is going to thank you because it's easier for them to come in and take your business away. That's a great point. And it's such a digital world. Everybody's getting hit up with texts and emails constantly and Facebook messages. But when you send products like these, you know, personalized products about them, not about us, it makes all the difference in the world. And whether you're a loan officer or a realtor, we're making thousands of dollars a deal. Is it worth mm -hmm. spending 30 or 40 bucks? Yeah, I think it is. I think even it if, is. Even if you had to send 10 before you collected that 3000 or that $4,000 check, was it worth sending 10, 30 day? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, thanks again, Alan. Uh, Market now is his invitation code, bannerseason.com. You guys have Thank a great you, day. Thank you, Alan.